Hello guys, it's Perfish here today. We will be reviewing this Hot Wheels car, so its name is Danknator. I mean Tanknator, of course. Number 4 out of 5 of the HW Ride-On series. And uh, number 67 out of 365. That's like its collector number. So first up, uh, the gray part is metal, but the turret is plastic. Also, the rest of the car is plastic. It's got some cool, uh, I don't know, gold rims. Orange or gold. On the side here, Hot Wheels, number 822, HW Ride-Ons, this camouflage, I'm not sure what Hot Wheels was thinking about, they're just like, oh, let's make a tank and only put camouflage on the side, trust me, like, camouflage on the side is way better than camouflage on the whole tank, trust us, this is like, 10 out of 10, nobody would see it coming, but anyways, uh, it stands up, and on the rear here, they're totally not exhaust, trust me, they're totally beer bottles, now they're actually exhaust, I think. I'm not sure. The turret, well, it turns uh, 360 degrees. Um, yeah, not really smooth, but it gets the job done. So, uh, yeah. Can you see here, there's a minifigure I can get in. So, I'm just gonna get a minifigure from Mega Blocks. Because I think that's... Cause I think that Mega Blocks is actually owned by Mattel now. So, from the Fast and... Um, from the Fast Fish, Hot Wheels, Mega Blocks. Uh, there's this green team dude. Try to put it in. Try to get his arm to hook up. Um, yeah, I, I think I think his arms are hooked up now. So yeah, you can turn him 360 degrees. And yeah. Uh, just ignore the fact that the dude is actually taller than the tank itself. And then there's this, uh, a LEGO Speed Champions AMG GT3. Um, with this LEGO dude. I mean, he doesn't fit in, but you can always just remove his legs. And put it, put him in. There we go. Whoops. Wait, let me just connect him off the camera. That'll be a lot easier for me. And, okay, there we go. Now you can see it fits in. Uh, the dude's smiling even though uh, his legs are gone. But, yeah, let's ignore this. Oh, well, yeah, it's a pretty cool car. The tank nader. It's one of those cars that I recommend you buying just because it has a moving feature and it's worth more of your money. But that's about it. I rate this car, I don't know, uh, 9 out of 10. And until next time, Spurfish out.